Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week's vlog is going to be a wall panelling DIY tutorial. I am absolutely obsessed with panelling and want to panel every single one of my rooms, so I thought I would start learning how to do it myself. So basically, this is really, really easy to do. Your shopping list should include timber, a saw, a spirit level, no nails glue, a drill, screws and wall plugs. Step one of the project is to do the measuring and the maths. You need to measure the width of your wall, decide how many panels of wood you want, and then take the width of the panel, multiply it by the amount of panels you have, and subtract that number from the total width of the wall. You then take this new number and divide it by the amount of gaps between the panels. Mark lightly on the wall so you know where the panels are going to go once you start sticking them down. We've just been doing the measurements, and you really do have to measure it precisely. So our wall measures 3.5 meters in width and each panel is 47 millimeters and we have nine panels which equates to 423 millimeters in width. So we've got 3,500 millimeters wide minus 423 millimeters of wood which means we've got 3,077 millimeters to make up the width in between each panel. We've got eight gaps, so we divide it by eight, and that means we've got 384 millimeters, 0.6. So we're gonna round that up. It's gonna be 38.5 centimeters in between each panel. Might be a bit off at the end, but it's hardly gonna be noticeable because all the panels are gonna be the same color as the wall. So Freddie's just done this genius thing and because 38.5 centimetres is our width, he's actually just sawed a baton to that size. So it measures 38.5, so now we'll just measure this in between each panel and that will be our ruler. When ordering your wood panelling, make sure to order enough timber for the horizontal panel at the top of the wall if you plan to do this. We decided on one and our batons measured 2.4 meters so we had to get two and cut them down to size. We decided to put the smaller part of the two horizontal panels up which was the one Freddie cut to size and then we just tested out to make sure that the full size one fitted perfectly and it does so we've glued it and now that's going to get stuck up. This stuff is so quick, this no nails glue, we literally just hold it on there for like 30 seconds and it's fine. Okay, panelling fail number one. Don't ever assume that your walls are completely even because ours are completely warped and there's like a two inch gap behind the panelling in the middle. So it's touching at the top, touching the skirting board at the base and that is the gap in between. So we're gonna glue them to start with but then we're gonna press them in and Freddie is gonna drill a screw in to the center of them just to really hold them and then we'll just caulk over it. So because the wall is also not the same height the whole way up, we've numbered the panels so we're measuring each individual one. So we just took the baton and measured it and it's looking quite even. So now we're going to go cut all of these to size and then stick them on the wall and then we're gonna drill them. longer than expected because at the start we thought we could just get these pre-cut pieces of timber, stick them to the wall and jobs are good in. However, we live in a Victorian building and the wall is bent so that didn't quite go to plan and we ended up once gluing them then drilling them in which meant we had to line up the rule plugs and get the screws right with the right length so it was a bit more of a challenge than we thought however still not that laborious a job for the result i primed them last night and now i'm just going to do the final coat of paint on them and then i'll show you the after we're absolutely 
obsessed with the paneling and the color of this room. I love it. It's like a real kind of like sagey, gray, sludgy, cementy green. <laughs> fabulous there's just one final thing we've done today which is we filled in where all the screws were and we're going to sand this back and then paint it and it will just give it a proper polished look that is the final thing to do but from afar you can't see it but it just looks so fabulous so happy with it it was so easy to do and i would completely recommend someone doing it it cost us under 100 pounds and i think it totally just makes the room and I've listed all the links below from all the products that we used. You can order everything online right now because obviously stores aren't open. And my final tip would be as well that you should order your timber to size because if you want to do this with MDF, they're not going to be able to cut it in store when the stores aren't open during the virus and lockdown. So we ordered the width and depth of the panels as we wanted from Wix and I've linked the exact ones we used. And good luck if you don't live in a country with Wix. <laughs> and there we go, it's all done and it was super easy. I mean, if I can panel a wall, I know Freddie did most of the work in that video, but don't underestimate trying to do DIY and vlog it at the same time. If I can do a panelled wall, anyone can do a panelled wall. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I've also linked my IGTV I did of a really quick, rapid, one minute video of us doing the wall and I've linked the blog post as well so you can read it as well if you'd prefer to read a tutorial. And there you go, I'll be back next week with another video. Bye!